here, which also serves as a spinner. Alright guys, so this toy, it's brand new. Alright guys, so today I'll be reviewing it for you freaking fricks. If you're a Pac-Man fan, then I suggest watching this video. And if you're a hater, then get the frick out! So, this toy, it's freaking brand new. I never owned a Pac-Man toy before because, I mean, they were really hard to find before. But these are brand new. They're based off the TV series. So, I'm going to review this Ice Pac-Man action figure and spinner. Alright, guys. So, first let's review the design. Alright, so the overall design, it really captures um, the looks of the actual Pac-Man and his um, power up, powered up state as Ice Pac-Man. Yeah, they got the de they got the details down. All right, guys, and of course, he looks quite adorable. He even has his signature wide grin that he's always retained throughout the years. All right, guys. complaints about Ice Pac-Man's design. Alright guys, first of all, he doesn't have the Pac-Man shaped eyes. Instead, he has these freaking circular eyes, but his freaking pupils are Pac-Man shaped. Alright guys, However, I still would have preferred the Pac-Man shaped eyes. Alright guys, a freaking black eyes, freaking Pac-Man shaped eyes that resembles the freaking classic Pac-Man and the Pac-Man world Pac-Man. Alright guys, so I also have complaints about his shoes. Of course, he still wears boots, just like he did in the classic Pac-Man game, as well as the freaking Pac-Man World series, and so on, so forth, all the way up until now. But, however, these new shoes have straps on them, and the Pac-Man logo, as you can see. And even though I guess it defines him as a character, I still would have preferred the original boots. But overall, they got the design down. The design looks quite well. Alright, guys. So, let's continue reviewing. Okay, guys. So now I'm going to be reviewing the functionality. Alright, so of course he's supposed to be an action figure. And of course he props up quite well. I mean, he can fall over sometimes. But overall as an action figure he functions really well. And um, because you can make him spin, um, you can make him... Um, you can make him fight enemies by slapping them. Um, also pretending that he's shooting ice projectiles. Alright, guys. So, let's continue. And sometimes the spinning can be quite annoying. But overall... You're getting what you invested for, especially since it's also a spinner. Look, you can remove his legs, and he's a spinner. Alright, it's quite confusing at first, but you make him spin like this. Alright. It's quite fun if you 
ask, ask me, and it appeals to fans such as fans of the of the Beyblade franchise. All right, guys. So, if you're looking for a combination a combination of an action figure and a spinner then you're getting what you invested for <gasps> all right guys ice pack man action figure and spinner functions quite well <gasps> and now the value the overall value and i paid seven dollars for this and overall, I think I got what I invested for because this is basically a two-in-one toy. And of course, not many Pac-Man action figures have been made in the past. In fact, I've never owned one before this. So, in terms of overall value, I think you're getting what you invested for. Especially since there have not been that many Pac-Man action figures in the past. So I am quite, I am quite grateful for this. Alright guys. Alright. So overall, I give this toy an 8 out of 10. Because... At times, in its action figure state, the spinning can be quite annoying. And when it's spinning, mm, it doesn't spin like you'd expect it to. And the design! The design doesn't resemble the classic Pac-Man, nor the Pac-Man world Pac-Man enough. Mm, such as, I would like his Pac-Man shaped eyes. And freaking, you know, freaking the freaking original boots. So overall, if you're ha if you happen to be at a retailer and see a Pac-Man, a Pac-Man the Ghostly Adventures toy similar to this, I would go ahead and buy it. All right, guys. So, 8 out of 10, I would buy it if I were you. Anyways, thanks for watching, viewers, and goodbye, you fricks. Why are you pulling me, Mr. Bowser? <laughs> Simple, because I hate you! And now that I've captured both you and your friends, now I can take over the Mushroom Kingdom! And no one can stop me! Bowser. Wow. Yeah. Don't worry guys, 
all for you. Uh, do you really think you can get away with this? Why, yes, I can.